This is Dan Seifert with The Verge, and we're here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona checking out the new Opera browser for Android smartphones. What we're checking out here is a very early build of the browser that uses the new WebKit rendering engine, uh, which is a marked change from Opera, which used to rely on its own Presto engine. Uh, WebKit is a much more popular engine. It's the same processing engine that uh, the Android stock Android browser uses, as well as iOS. Uh, a couple of different changes here. They've cleaned up the speed dial here, so they made it a little cleaner. You can create folders uh, from your bookmarks, very similar to icons on your home screen. They've also added this Discover tab here, which is designed to provide you content for a variety of categories. And then uh, you can swipe over and see more of your history there. The whole design of this um, app itself has been freshened up to uh, better fit in with Android style guidelines. It looks and feels very similar to Chrome for, for Android. You've got an Omnibox here for searching and uh, looking up your various web pages. You've got a new tab interface here that you can browse through your open tabs. And then you have a drop down menu to uh, access various settings. One of the things that they've added to the new version of Opera is this off-road mode, which uses the data compression technology that the, they pioneered on the Opera Mini browser, uh, which allows you to save data when you're on the go and it doesn't use as much data plan. Uh, Opera claims that you can save about 90% of your data usage uh, by using its off-road compression. Browsing within the Opera browser is pretty good. Uh, web pages scroll pretty quickly. The WebKit rendering engine seems to be a lot better than the older Presto engine as far as uh, rendering and navigating. Scrolling is fairly smooth once a, a site has actually loaded. And it features things like double tap to zoom and standard pinch to zoom. All those work pretty well. This is a very early version of the Opera browser that we're looking at here, but the company says it will be available in the Google Play Store later this year.